Look at my regrowth. I can't get my fucking hair done until I get out of lockdown. All hair salons are fucking closed, okay? So don't judge. It's really early in the morning. Um, well, not really, really early, but it's 8 o'clock. And I'm doing my makeup. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any quick fire, like, book questions. Uh, or, you know, questions related to books or whatever. So, I've got so many. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try and answer as many as possible while I do my makeup. Um, so, that's going to be a great time. Sorry. Um, I'm going to get distracted and, like... <sighs> Shit is everywhere. I'm going to try and not get distracted by actually doing my makeup. Um, I'm also going to insert the image of whatever book that I'm talking about. So you guys can like take a screenshot or whatever if you want. If you can't be bothered writing it down. So love that for us. We're going to get straight into it. You know what I mean? We're going to get straight into this thing. The first question I can see is a male lead that you would fuck. Cobra from Balance instantly. I am obsessed with him. He is a steamy motherfucker and he is just so damaged and beautiful and just everything and more. You know what I mean? So I would not pass up an opportunity to fuck Cobra. A male lead you would marry. I just spoke about this on Instagram yesterday. I'm just getting some sticky tape because I'm going to do some winged liner. Anyway, uh, yes, I spoke about this person yesterday. Uh, Nino Falcone from Cora Riley's Kimura Chronicles. No doubt he is my book husband. Okay, the next one is fucking hilarious. Would you actually like to be kidnapped by the mafia and or be a part of it? Absolutely not. Like, I read mafia romance. I make jokes all the time, but I'm not delusional, baby. I'm not naive to the world that we live in. And I know a lot of fucked up shit goes down. The men involved in criminal syndicates around the world aren't particularly the best type of men. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't want to, you know, subject myself to them. I wouldn't want to place myself in in a position where we even know each other. That's the beauty of reading romance, like the fictional world. You can fantasize, romanticize about this stuff and keep it separate to real life. Like, it's not what we read. It's not. It's dangerous. They're dangerous. Even if they do treat you right. Like, the lifestyle, the shit they're involved in, like, do you want that? Do you think it's okay for young girls like 10 to 15 to be reading smart? 10? No. If you're 10 years old, you should not be reading the shit that I'm reading. Straight up. I'm 26. Like, I'm 26. No, you should not be reading the shit that I'm reading at 10 years old. 15? I can understand that. I would only, like, say no if you... If it was to cause danger for you. You just need to make sure that, like, you know in your mind that this is not real life, okay? This is not real life, and that is okay that it's not real life. It's good that it's not real life. Um, yeah, just keep fiction from reality, baby. If you can do that, then these books won't harm you. If you can't, then they will, and you shouldn't be reading them. Oh, this is a makeup question. Any mascaras that don't run under your eyes? I like this one, and this one doesn't run under my eyes. Um, but in saying that, I don't put mascara on my lower lash line. But this is the Maybelline, uh, the Falsies Lash Lift. I also like the uh, um, Makeup Revolution mascara in, like, the gold tube. It just says Revolution on the side. Like, the Revolution mascara. That's really good, too. That's my go-to. But if I don't have that one, which I don't right now, I use that one and it works. It works well for me. Tips for starting a YouTube channel. So if you're looking into starting a YouTube channel, whether it's for booktube, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, health, gaming, I don't know. Um, first thing I would tell you to do is to just start. Don't think about the logistics of a YouTube channel. Just fucking get into it and record and upload and try and build yourself on social media. Um, another tip is to just start off small. You don't need the best equipment to start your YouTube channel. If your personality is bright and big enough for the internet, people will find you regardless of your quality of content, as in like camera quality. I started off on my phone and then used like iMovie on my phone to edit <laughs> uh, my videos. And then I moved to an iPad and then I got 
a camera and then at the end of 2019 I upgraded everything. I got like a brand new vlogging camera and um, I got a MacBook as well. So start off small, just make sure the lighting's good, make sure your background's aesthetically pleasing, um, make sure you look good. Like you don't have to wear makeup and stuff if you don't want to, but just make sure you look presentable and that you're, you know, as authentic on camera as possible because then people will gravitate towards you and you'll grow your channel and you'll build um, uh, a loyal following. Thoughts about Dom Sub? Um, these aren't really bookish questions, but okay. Um, thoughts about, I, it intrigues me. Like BDSM intrigues me. I've never been involved. Um, I've never known anyone that's really involved. I could see myself being in a bit of a dom kind of submissive. I couldn't see myself as a dom, but I could see myself in a relationship or in a situationship where I'm a sub. Absolutely. Fucking lutely. Whether or not that will ever happen, I don't know. Um, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't kink shame. Whatever fucking floats your boat, baby, as long as it's consensual and you're safe. Like, I don't give a fuck. What is your limitations when it comes to dark romance? Okay, so my, one of my limitations is human trafficking. Just because I think, not that like all the other stuff we read in dark romance isn't close to reality or close to some of our realities. Human trafficking is one pill that I find really hard to swallow and it's one of my biggest fears as well. Um, that's why I haven't traveled a lot, but um, because I know too much about it. I don't know, it's really hard for me to read that stuff and then see like someone, like a main character falling in love with their captor, like their owner. Like it just, it doesn't sit well with me. Um, and it's so far from our reality. Like that wouldn't happen if you got trafficked, baby. It wouldn't happen. <laughs> what is one book or series that you would make into a TV series? The Kimura Chronicles and The Born in Blood. Absolutely. I feel like Netflix and just other kind of like the companies, brands or whatever that um, direct and produce TV shows, series, fucking movies, they're really sleeping on the Kimura Chronicles. I reckon it would be absolutely fucking dope to have that as a TV show. And you could do it, you could do it really well like a series. Are you kidding? Born in Blood and Kimura? Like, are you kidding me? And I feel like it would be really popular with so many women because it's heavily romance based. But I think it would also be really popular with a lot of men because it's like mafia. And they do, like Cora does, go in depth with a lot of mafia stuff. It's not strictly mafia, but there's enough in there for you to know what the fuck the mafia is, you know what I mean? And I feel like, I don't know, the dynamic between the... Characters, the families, like I've, the drama. I just feel like it would be such a good TV show, but it could be ruined very easy. This might be such a boring video. Um, if you could trade places with only one heroine and live exactly her life, who would it be? Either Lou from Welcome to the Dark Side or Aubrey from Hush Hush. And again, Kiara or like Serafina from the Kimura Chronicles. Book mob family that you'd want to be part of. Um, the Falcone family from the Kimura Chronicles. I literally just read this. So it's like, I keep bringing it up. Reread it. I've read it before, twice, but I reread it over the weekend, so it's like really fresh in my mind and I'm so obsessed all over again. But yeah, um, it would definitely be The Falcone Family from the Kimura Chronicles. Favorite fall comfort book? Baby, I don't do fall like you do. I'm in Australia, honey. When you have fall, baby, it's spring here. We're getting ready for summer. Um, but if I could suggest a book that has like fall vibes, well, what I would think is fall vibes, especially if you live in Europe or the UK or the States, is Hollow Heathens from Nicole Fiorina. My eyes are all fucking blurry. Anyway, I had to turn off the camera and quickly just put my lashes on. All I did was take off the um, sticky tape and cleaned up the winged liner. I put some shimmer on my inner corner and then chucked my lashes on. I know I look wild right now, but when we 
<laughs> when we put everything else on, it'll all come together. Okay, it'll all come together. What gets the flutters going more? FF, MF, or male, male? I can get flutters with all. So I can get flutters with an MM romance. So male, male. Um, which I don't understand how that really works. <laughs> um, and I also get flutters with female, female. So lesbian romance. I get flutters with um, MM. F, I get flutters with straight books, like MF couples. Um, I'm definitely someone that finds all types of sex attractive with anyone. Doesn't matter your gender, baby. Um, I just think sex is attractive and it can be very much a turn on reading it. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I don't, yeah. There's not one that gives me more flutters than the other, but I read more male like MF, male, female, because I am, like I'm straight. Um, I, I like that. That's my preferred read, um, but I don't discriminate, you know. Like I get, I get into all different kinds of romances, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to look like a fucking tomato. That's fine. It will come together. It's because I'm like rubbing my face a lot, putting all my creams on. <laughs> One book for the rest of your life, what book would that be? Fuck. I would say Hush Hush by Lucia Franco, but now that I've reread Twisted Emotions, I can't pick one. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Mm. Actually, no, no, I would pick one and it would be Hush Hush just because. I feel like with Twisted Emotions, um, where's my foundation? Uh, with Twisted Emotions, I have noticed that a lot of the book is in the house. Like, it's it's in the house um, where Hush, there's different scenes that take place at different venues that just kind of adds more to the book. I feel like if I reread Twisted Emotions every fucking day, the house would get annoying. Do you know what I mean? So I have to say hush hush. Um, yeah. Some people will be like, really? But I'm over here like, yes. I love that book so much. Um, like so much. I want to reread it again soon because I'm going through like this time of just wanting to reread things that bring me joy instead of trying to find books. Um, so I'm actually planning on doing like a video like, I reread my favourites. Do I still love them? And I want to do Credence. I want to read Credence again from Penelope Douglas because it's been over a year. It's been nearly two years since I read that. Well, not two years. In January, it, it will be two years. But I would love to reread that and see if I actually love it the same as what I did when I first read it. The smuttiest book you've read recently uh, uh, we don't play games, we play games, we play the games we play. Something like that, that novella. So fucking good. If you're looking for a quick, smutty as fuck, really kinky read, that one hits the spot. Okay, what's your book brother, your book boyfriend, and your book husband? My book brother would be... Bishop from the Elite Kings Club. I love his brother-sister relationship with Saint. It's, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the relationship I have with my own brother. My book husband would be Nino, book boyfriend would be Cobra. Okay? So, love that for me. My face is definitely not the same colour as my neck. My fake tan, as of recently, has not been adhering to my skin. I don't know what's up. I think I need to change brands. That happens sometimes. Most taboo thing you've ever done. Um, I don't think I've done anything crazy taboo. Uh, I dated my ex boss, but, um, I wouldn't even consider that taboo because I wasn't working for him at the time. We started dating after my employment there. So I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say that that's that taboo because of that reason. I actually look like Kiss, like a band. Any books you want to read during Halloween? Yes, I want to read read Hollow Heathens. Mm -hmm. I want to read Bone Island whenever that gets released. Nicole, get onto that. I need that for Halloween, bitch. 
Um, um, yes, as I was saying, I've got this witchy series. I think it's Don't Hex and Drive, Witches Get Stitches, uh, Wolf Gone Wild. I would love to read them around Halloween. Um, what else? I don't know. I think that's about it, to be honest. Maybe finish the Unsainted series by K.V. Rose. Um, there's some books from Harley LaRoe, I think is how you pronounce her name, that I want to read. Should I do a video of, like, what I read in October for Halloween? Did I just come up with a fucking sick idea? I think I did. I think I did. Would you prefer that to be like a vlog style or just like a recommendation video or like a review video where I just get on camera and talk about if I like them or not? Let me know. I repurchased the Jaclyn Hill powder and I want to put it all over my fucking face. So that's what I'm going to do. Ah! Baby, I'm creasing. Okay, what's next? What is the first book you remember reading? I read in primary school and high school for, like, school. first book I did for actual, um, like, pleasure was Twilight. Um, yeah, I was obsessed with Twilight. Top tier romance trope, arranged marriage, is my favourite. Um, but not just in the mafia world. Like, I want to read arranged marriages that aren't just in the mafia. You know what I mean? I love arranged marriage. That age gap and... Um, I'm trying to think. Enemies to lovers. You know? I don't mind a friends to lovers, I just don't come across many of them. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm used to reading enemies to lovers, if you, that makes sense. Books that turn me on. I just mentioned this. Um, the games we play or whatever, that novella that novella, sorry, I can't talk. That surprisingly turned me on. I did not expect to be turned on the way I was with that book. I really did not. Um, so that turns me on. Hush Hush turns me on. All the Kamora Chronicles, all their sex scenes are great. Ammo Jones's sex scenes are amazing. So if you want like a good, rough, dirty sex scene, that's where you need to go. My fucking eyes won't stop freaking leaking, which is great. So I've got to put some freaking more powder under my eyes. Right near my tear ducts. Fuck it off, bitch. Um, yeah, this has been really hard to film because my memory cards keep running out of space. Um, so I had to like import footage as I go. Um, so my brows are done, my eyes are done, and my face is done, like my face powder. Now, my favorite part, bronzer and highlighter. Okay, so I just thought of another book that I think this was the last question, one that makes you really horny. Yes. So recently that little novella mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also um, Sugar Daddies by Jade West. I found that really, really erotic. Okay. And I really, really, I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it more than what I expected. Like I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. The way I did. Um, and it was really, really steamy. Really, really, really steamy. Um, so if you want like a dirty book, a smutty, dirty book with a good plot, but like one that's really, sorry, made, really made for the smut, those two, 100%. The rest of them are all kind of the same. Like who I would have sex with um, if I could choose out of all the book boyfriends, which... I kind of already said who, you know, um, so I don't want to like elaborate any more on that. We're going to bronze my fucking face. Already started, but we're going to bronze even more, bitch, because I like to be bronzed. A bronze fucking goddess. Okay. Okay. That's what we're doing today. I started reading another mafia book last night. Um which I'm enjoying so far, but I'm really excited because um, Cora Riley's new book comes out on the 15th. It is, what's the date today? It's the 14th today. I know it's the, like, um, it's the 14th in the States. I mean, I know it's the 15th in the States when it comes out. 
So that means the 16th here. But usually with Cora's books, they come out on the 15th here. So a day early. What is on my nose? I don't know what that is. Yeah, anyway, they come out a day early here in Australia. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow morning or like late tonight, I get it. Because I'm going to fucking devour it. I am really nervous though because I've heard very mixed reviews about Cora's book uh, by Sino Rise, which is Marcella's book. But because I recently, um, like over the weekend, I read the Kimura Chronicles again. Like, I'm so ready for her world. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just craving her books. And it's so funny because I haven't been able to find, like, a book recently that I've been like, oh, I'm obsessed with. That's kind of new. And then when I went back to reading Cora's books, I was like, it's because I know my favorite authors now. I know, sorry, the bus is going past. Um, I have my favorite authors now and they don't release books quick enough so like it's stupid that I even try to find new books because it's like I already know my favorite babes like, I already know my favorite authors I've read the best of the best obviously there's you know new authors constantly that I need to discover that are on par with everyone else but it's just like I don't know when I was reading Cora's books I was like oh this is what I needed like her writing I just love it it's just so effortless like, it just is so good. I'll tell you what, I'm looking glowy today. I'm looking glowy today, and I'm here for it. I'm fucking here for it. This is my favorite blush ever. If you can get your hands on this, get it. It's the Cover FX Monochrome Blush Duo in the color Warm Honey. I don't even fucking use this one. It's this... I'm, I'm about to hit pan and I really get my bl uh, my brush in there and I dig in there. I fucking get in there and it's so pretty because it's like, I don't know. <gasps> Stop. See, it's like shimmery. I'm such a shimmery whore. Like, I love glow. Oh, my God. Look at it on the apples of my cheek. Like, you can't fucking tell me that this doesn't make you horny. It makes me horny. My own face gets me, gets me up, you know, turns me on, you know what I mean? I love it. Oh, yes. Give it to me. I'm really heavy-handed with blush, especially this one. Because it's like a shimmery one, it's not like overly pigmented. But I also feel like blush doesn't last long on my cheeks. So I go ham. I go ham sandwich on a bitch. But I do clean it up if I've gone to ham sandwich, you know. Okay. Highlighter. Yes, baby. The glow is here. This is the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the color or shade All of the Lights. It's like a color wheel. I don't even know if this is still a thing. Is this still a thing? Because I haven't bought new makeup in ages. I used to be such a guru, like such a makeup whore. And now, I barely buy makeup. Oh, shit. I think I just crammed in my pants. So pretty. Stop. I know this is a lot of makeup for a lot of you, but like, whatever. This is just a casual beat. I either look like this or no makeup at all. I can't do in between. I can't do the in between. I always get questions too, like how do you not get makeup on your nose ring? I do, baby. All the fucking time. You just got to clean it off. Mmm. Make me look like I'm sweating. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. What else do I put on my face? My lips. But I'll do my setting spray. So this is the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up. Super cheap and it's so fucking good. Um, ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to use my favorite lip liner, which is... Sugar Pie, one of my favorite lip liners. Sugar Pie from Morphe, okay. Am I gonna fucking overline my lips, bitch?
lipstick on. Okay, and then some lip gloss because you know, gotta blend the two together. Gorgeous, darling. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I'm going to go fix my hair up and change my clothes. And then I'll show you what the do looks like with the rest of the do. Because right now, this is not a do. I'm telling you right now, baby. This do would look better without this do. Because this do is not a vibe. It's not a fun pineapple. Okay? A succulent or something. Okay, not a pineapple. Like, it, like, it ain't moving, baby. Yeah. I'm going to go fucking fix this up. <laughs>